What is up, people? We are less than a week away from Ashes of Creation's big combat reveal that we have all been patiently waiting for. And today, I want to talk about what I want to see from this combat update along with future updates as Intrepid continues to iterate on the feedback. Starting with what we know, we know Intrepid is planning to stick with its hybrid system it's been hyping up for years, meaning this combat revamp will be a combination of modern action combat systems we know today, like New World, while also still giving players a classic familiar feel with the tab targeting system. I have been curious for years on how exactly this will play out because traditionally with tab targeting, these spells are automatically directed at a player and there is a random chance based on gear stats and abilities for the spell to actually land its full blow or crit to do more damage and so on. And while with action combat, there's still the stat portion abilities themselves are controlled by the player and it's the player aiming that spell or arrows or whatever they're wielding that determines its initial hit while the defender player has the chance to block or dodge it. So when one player is leaning towards an action combat build and the other towards a tab targeting build, like Ashes of Creation is planning on allowing, what determines these factors to make the fight more fair? And even more so with 64 class combinations possible, it makes combat as a whole extremely challenging to the point where Intrepid even knows it's not going to be balanced on a 1v1 basis, but more so on group builds and the combination of players. Intrepid's plan last we heard was to have a variation of abilities which change how they function slightly depending on what stance you're in. So if you're in action combat, then the ability would perform more based on that, whereas if you were in tab targeting, then it'd be more of a target and shoot type of ability, which we really didn't see much of in Alpha 1, but it makes me think if that's how it's being handled, why would you ever want to dive into action combat mode when tab targeting will have almost a guaranteed land on an opponent compared to aiming it and hoping they don't dodge out of the way? There will be certain skill types that are locked to one or another though, one of the examples given was crowd controls, where hard CCs may be more action combat oriented because they would be skill shots that are more difficult to land, while softer CCs would be housed in the tab targeting abilities. In my opinion, in order for a combat system like Intrepid is trying to build to be functional and fun, I think they need to kind of scrap this whole hybrid system in a sense and lean a bit more toward one side or the other, and if I had my way, I think we'd be leaning a lot more towards action combat. Having a ton of spells that you have to choose from and set up rotation and all that is great for customizing your playstyle and the type of combatant that you want to be, but once you are set up and start cycling through the rotation, combat can get pretty stale after a while. Sure, boss fights will be giving you obstacles thrown your way to move around with, but without that, you are just spamming keys waiting for the next thing to happen. Well, action combat is putting you in the heat of combat. There doesn't tend to be an auto attack, and each click is you engaging with that enemy while they are maneuvering around or trying to block your attack before landing the next one. Really engaging the player more in combat like RPG games such as Dark Souls and Elden Ring do. But you also have to be careful because with massive 500 v 500 sieges that Intrepid is planning, those block attacks can get pretty useless when approached by a ton of players. And in my opinion, in massive battles such as what Intrepid is planning to do with sieges, action combat tends to get a little hectic and doesn't really work as intended with that many players. Some of this I am hoping to see next week as the first combat update Steven talks about is showing off basically basic weapon attacks, split body movements, and directional input, all of which sound more action-oriented than tab targeting. In Alpha 1, toward the end of testing, Intrepid did enable split body movement, which when using action combat made it feel load smoother than it had in prior testing, so seeing this evolve will be interesting. When Steven talks about basic weapon attacks, I personally take this as the swing of the sword or blocking, which we may not be seen blocking because we will be seen dual wielding daggers, but more so swinging the sword with the click of a mouse button instead of tabbing and then hitting one or two for an ability. In order for this hybrid combat system to work, it will need to be balanced between classes and races as much as possible. And understandably so, like I mentioned before and like Intrepid has said, we won't see the 1v1 balance. There will always be classes that can outpower another, especially when you think that healers aren't meant to do high amounts of damage quickly when a rogue is. But they can still get as close as they can by making sure that action and tab both have equally powerful abilities, making sure hitboxes are the same across all races no matter the actual size and they need to figure out where to draw the line between the systems. Like I said earlier, you can't have spells that auto aim in action combat and are targeted in tab. It's automatically unbalanced, but you can have the abilities that auto aim always track no matter what stance you're in, along with the ones that are more action oriented do the same. Then players will have a bit more choice, but having different variations of spells depending on the stance can get a bit tricky. The last and most important thing that we need from the combat in order 
for it to be a huge hit is player feedback. As Intrepid starts to drop these small combat updates, they will hopefully think to open back up the Alpha 1 servers, even if they aren't throwing us any new content and it's back under NDA. They could just dump us in a zone with a bunch of creatures and players to fight to just go at it and feel for things and provide feedback. That way, they can get better quality feedback from their Alpha 1 testing pool and make these iterations before dropping the next wave of updates. As nice as it is for them to show it off in a live stream, testers trying it out and fighting enemies is always going to give better feedback than showing us a video of how it works in that scenario. This was even proven in Alpha 1 as the biggest amount of combat feedback came when these servers were online, not before in all the previews leading up to the test. What do you guys want to see out of the Ashes of Creation combat revamp? Drop a comment down below and if you're new to ashes and have yet to create an account feel free to do so using my referral link in the description below otherwise be sure to click that subscribe button hit that thumbs up turn on the bell for notifications and stay tuned for a lot more to come